So today we're going to talk more about place value. So place value is kind of like a puzzle with math. You're taking numbers and you're putting them together like connecting cubes, but you're not finding out specific numbers. You're finding out how much is in each spot of a number. For example, if you had the number 1, 5, what does 1, 5 make? 1, 5. And I wrote it in that order specifically. Yes, Allison? <coughs> Fifteen. Yeah, and Allison, I'm going to have you stay unmuted for a sec, okay? So Allison said 15. But Allison, oh no, stay unmuted, Allison. So I wrote the number 15, and Allison knew that because you've been practicing your numbers. But Allison, can you tell me the different parts of this number? I wrote them in the square for a reason. What does this five represent? Five lonely sticks. It could be lonely sticks. It could be lonely cubes. But is this five big enough to become a bundle? No. 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 So these are five what? What would be the name of this place value spot? Anyone know? I'm going to have Allison answer, but see if you can answer with her. Ones. <gasps> Allison, awesome job. These are the ones. That's because they're not big enough to make what's called a strip, a bundle, or a ten. So if Allison only had one, two, three, four, five, we can see she's halfway to making a bundle or a strip. But in place value, I'm counting the different parts of our number. So we know that we have five ones. But what does this number one represent? Can anyone else tell me? Thanks, Allison. Can anyone else tell me what that one represents in this number? Mm, go ahead, Robert. <coughs> mm, I think I choked on my pretzel a little bit. There you go, Robert. Um, it's in the tens place. Yeah, and Robert, before you mute yourself, right, it's in the tens spot. So it goes ones, then tens, then hundreds, then thousands, then ten thousands, then hundred thousands. But Robert, we're not getting that high, right? We're only doing tens and ones. This is kind of like calendar corner. I drew a square. But pretend this is the pocket of sticks. So, Robert, if I was making a 10, how many cubes should I need? Um, 10 cubes. You mean like this? Mm-hmm. So, I didn't have Robert count my cubes. I promise I'm not lying to him. But in place value, and you probably saw it in your packet, the ones are a single square or cube, and then these strips mean 10. If I'm doing the number 15, I should only have one 10, and I should only have five ones. Let's make sure I do. One, two, three, four, and five. That shows that I have 15, because if I were to count them all, I would get to the number 15. 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So when you're writing your place value, you would see that it's the same as saying 10 plus 5 equals 110, 5 ones, it equals 15. But Robert, if you can unmute yourself, I'm sorry. Robert, why didn't I write my number like this? 10 and 5. Because then it'll be 105. Uh-oh, he's right. It, because, Robert, what do I do when I have 10 pens? number. 
15 is a two-digit number, Ooh, not yes. three-digit. Because the third digit means hundreds. You're right. So if I had 10 in a box, we know they start fighting. They can't all fit in that spot. So the 10 would have to bump it over to the next box, which would make it look like this. 105, right? That's what Robert's trying to say. But because we're not there, we only have one 10, not 10 tens. We need to make sure that we're writing how much is in each spot. One 10, okay, then write one. Don't write one zero, because then you have a 10. 10 tens is 100, so it'd be 105. No way, Jose, we don't want that. Let's try another number, and then we'll get started looking at our packet. Hmm. What if we tried... We'll go backwards. I hope that you can see this all right. If not, I can turn the light off. Maybe that'll help you see it. I'm going to give you a number problem, and I want you to tell me the place value for that problem. Okay, so we're going backwards. No, Kenzie, it's not 14. All right, Kenzie's making up numbers now. So, hmm. Ah. Uh. Thirty plus eight equals what? I want you to tell me what it equals, and I want you to tell me how many tens there are and how many ones there are in my number. Hmm. Go ahead, Julian. Let's see if you can unmute yourself now. I hope so. <gasps> Go ahead, Julian. We can hear you. Yes. <clears throat> so, 30 plus 8. I can't really see. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, let me try with the light. Boop. Can you see it better now? I meant with the, um, raise your hands. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way? So it's 30 plus 8 equals... 48. Yeah, isn't that fun? When it comes to tens and ones, you just smush it all together. 30 plus 8 equals 38. But Julian, before you mute yourself, I have one more question for you. Okay. He said it equals 38. How many tens and ones are there in my number? The rest of you, try to think of it. And if you agree with Julian, give him a thumbs up. Question? Yeah. Sorry, tens. Oh, 30 tens? Remember, if we have 10 tens, that would make it 100. Oh, wait. Eight tens? Oh. Do you want to start with the number eight? Yeah. So the number eight is in my second part of my number. Three, three tens, eight ones. <gasps> Yay! Yeah! Yes, I'm John Julian! Because Julian, you had 30, which looks like this. It's almost so big I can't even show you. You have 30 cubes. So that's how many tens? One, two, three. So you got that. It's three tens. And I bet you know how to write the number 38. So you know what should come here, but let's just make sure. Then you need eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight ones, which makes 38 when you squish it all together. Would you like to see 38, my friends, in cube form? This is gonna be pretty intense. So Julian said we had three tens, so I have already put them together. And then he said we have eight ones. So here's our eight ones. Now let's, oh, now let's add our tens. 10, 20, whoa, man, did this happen in class? It's raining cubes. And then 
30. Oh my gosh. Ta-da! Look at that. We have three tens and eight ones equals 38. And so if you wanted, you could spend all day trying to count every single one of these cubes, but no, we don't have time for that. That's insane. So instead, we'd count the tens. 10, 20, 30, and then we go count my last eight cubes. That way we kind of fast forward through it all. So that's the awesome part of place value. Let's see if we can answer the place value in our packet now. Everyone, I want you to go to this page. It'll have the number, the number, the letter F on it, okay? F for math facts. F for fact family. Woohoo! Yeah, Robert, that was 30 cubes plus 8 cubes. That's insane. All right, I'm going to present my screen, so give me a second. Robert, can you give me a thumbs up when you finally see my screen? Oh, kick in. So you can see my packet? Can you see my packet, Robert? Can you see my packet, Kenzie? Okay, good. So at least some of you see it. Perfect. Okay, you all see it. So my friends, you're going to the page that says F on it. Ta-da! And you can see here that these are the number strips. Show me with your fingers. How many are in a number strip? Hmm. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. I see Kenzie doing it. It is 10. So 10 is in a number strip. So you really don't have to count it. You could just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You could count how many 10s you have and write six tens and zero ones, or you could count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and see what number you end up with. Since I have six tens and zero ones, what number did I make? 60. So that's really easy. When there's no ones, Oh, it's such an easy peasy lemon squeezy problem. Even when there's no tens. When there's no tens, that's even easier because you just have to count the tiny cubes. We're going to do this page together and then you only have three pages left. If you want to go above and beyond and you're up to the challenge, you can do the pages that were back there that I said you didn't have to do. I know, for example, Natalie and Allison already got to it, so good job, girls. But let's do this one together. Who can tell me what number this makes? Now, there's no tens and ones column. If you want, you can write it like this. You can cut your box in half. Or if you think you're going to be okay, you can just put the number in here normally. So press the raise your hand button and I'll call on someone. Make sure you're counting how many tens, which are the strips, and how many ones, which are the cubes. Go on, Ryan, you were my first hand that I got to. I know Ryan's microphone wasn't working too much yesterday, so let's hope for the best. Twelve. Now, how did you get that, sir? One, ten, and two ones. Let me see if you're right, okay? So we have one, 10, or you could say that's 10 right there. And then we have one, two. So we have one, 10, and two ones. If you put it together, we got 12. And that's what you said, Ryan. Awesome job. Thank you, Ryan. My friends, if you want, while I'm calling on people, you can finish this page. That way, if I call on you, you're ready to go. Because I don't know about you, but this thing, looks crazy. 
I don't even know what number that is. How about Kenzie? Can you do number three for me, this third one? I'm going to cut mine in half, and I'm going to write tens and ones because I'm still learning which one's which. All right, Kenzie. Forty. Forty. How many? Forty-three. I'm trying to. We're doing this one. I want you to count it again. I think you did the other one. Can you count my 41. my pen? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. What would five tens be, Kenzie? Fifty-one. Oh, okay, so five tens, she says, is a fifty. And then one cube, you're saying, just means one? Mm-hmm. Okay, so if I put one in the ones column, five and a one. 51, you got it. Yeah, 51 here. We have to be very careful. If I were you, maybe cross out the 10, or if you want to be crazy, you can color it, you can circle it, you can put numbers on them. Because when you get up to a number like this, it's really easy to skip one or, you know, count one twice. So you have to be very careful. Thanks, Kenzie. Who can do this one? This is like the boss battle. This is insane. How about Riley? I haven't heard from you today. Riley, can you be with this one? It's going to be a crazy one. I tell you. I don't even, that's probably a thousand right there. I mean, geez. We'll give Riley a second. Wait, only hit it once. There you go. Um, there you are. We hear you. I'm sorry, what one? 87. 87. All right, Riley. How did you get 87? I already did it. <laughs> I know, I but did how it. did you do it, silly? So that I can show it. I counted. 10, 20, 30, 40, Oh, you went by 10, okay. 10, 20, 30, 40, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. Oh my gosh, R Riley, you're really good at skip counting. I'm trying to catch up, 60, 70. And when I got to 80, both Riley and I, we ran out of room. There were no more tens here. So we know that there's eight tens. And Riley, how many ones did you say? Seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got it. So if you put it together, 80 plus seven equals 87. Awesome job, Riley. Thank you so much. Ooh, I think we got through the hardest one. Now, these two are just helping us, you know, recover after doing a really crazy math problem. So who can do this one for me? If you were listening, Kenzie gave you a hint earlier. Hmm. How about Natalie? Forty-three. How did you get that? I wrote it on my paper already. Oh, Jip. Well, how did you get how did you get it? I just like just counted two tens at each side and I counted the ones. Oh my gosh. Natalie. You did twenty plus twenty? Here, Natalie, go ahead and mute yourself, okay? I think I'm getting some feedback from you and Allison. 
So she 20 plus 20, which is actually a pretty interesting thing to do this. She counted her tens by twos. So she said, okay, counting 10, 20, 30, 40 is taking me too much time. So she just did two plus two is four tens, 40, and one, two, three ones. Three ones, 40 plus three equals 43. Awesome job. Look, our numbers are all over the place. I need one more person to do the last with me, and then I'm going to send you off to finish your packet and go watch my plant video slash egg video. How about, hmm, you know what, Steven, can you help us do the last one? We haven't heard from you today, except to ask the question about the little sticker. So I think it's in Kelly's hands. So Steven, how many tens do we have? We have um six. We have six tens. Ooh, I heard you go one, two, three. So you were going one, two, three, four, five. Interesting. But there's five ones here. What's going on down here? Nine. You think? One. What if that turns into a ten? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Phew, if it is a nine. So, Stephen, we have five what? We have five tens and nine ones. If you smush them all together, what do you get? Fifty-nine. Fifty-nine. Stephen, what would happen if I added one more lonely cube? Then it'll turn happen? into a 10. It will turn into so a 10. So do you think this would become a 10 and it would just be another strip out here? Mm hmm So would it look mm -hmm. like this? Yeah. What number comes after 59? It's 60, right? So the first one and the last one have a lot in common. If we added one more cube to 59, this would have to become a strip. If we had six strips, it would be like the first one we did together. It would be 60. I heard from some of you that you've been making 10 at home using your different toys or markers, for example. I would totally practice seeing what you can get at home to make 10. See how many 10s you can make. Maybe try and make a fact family out of it. But today, that's all we're doing in class. You're going to do the last one, two, three pages. And there's only six problems on each. So you only have 18 more questions left until spring break for math class. You know, I had a lot of fun with math class with you. I'm sorry, we don't have time to make a game show for place value, but I'm sure you would all win the game, of course. So today, I want to show you my screen right before I let you go. If you go on today's uh, post, you'll see I have a song that I love, love, love this website. They have great songs for teaching math. I have another one that talks about the two squares that we do, the 10 square and the one square. And then I have another video that talks about ones and tens. And then I have right here, my replanting an egg wig video. I hope you enjoy it. You can see Epic too. Thank you so much for those of you who are doing Epic. You guys just went cool. Epic. You guys all the books that I've been assigning you, like Jack and the Beanstalk, Jack and the Beanstalk, Jack and the Beanstalk. I gave you a million Jack and the Beanstalk. And it's awesome to see a bunch of you reading them. So thank you for doing that. But other than that, I hope you have a great Wednesday. It's wacky. It's a half day. It's pretzel day. If you're celebrating Passover, I hope you have a great cedar with your family. Okay? Goodbye, my friends. You can unmute yourself. Bye, my friends. You can unmute yourself. Bye. 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 Bye.